We're visiting my mother-in-law this week and she runs a full house of kids. Now, as soon as we get there, all I hear is Auntie Nicole, Auntie Nicole. <laughs> so the girls really cling to me and, you know, it's amazing to see or to hear that they enjoy watching my hair videos. So never did I think that kids would enjoy watching my videos. I mean, sometimes I see comments where parents would be like, my daughter and I watch your videos, but as much as they watch it, they can tell me what music I use on certain videos or just details of my videos and they watch it repeatedly. So I really wanted to take the opportunity while I was there to film some of their hair and also allow them to see themselves on my channel so that they have something to watch with each other to laugh and talk about you know for as long as they want to because they i when i say they watch it over and over they'll pick a video and watch it over and over that's their way of staying connected with me and the kids so i really wanted to get them on the channel as well so today we're doing a heart braid and i wanted to keep these styles simple so that you know it could be easily done um so we're doing a heart braid because you know i looked up two braids on Pinterest. I showed her some pictures and she chose this one with the heart. And right now I'm just doing like a rough draft of the heart to ensure that it is properly parted out. That's before I go in with my product. Now I'm using the same product I use on every textured hair. For me, the difference is I'm not going to put as much. I just kind of use it to clean up the parts. And I really just don't want to paste too much on. Now, if I was like adding extensions or really doing like a more extensive braid, I would use more products. But for this style, I really just kind of wanted to use as minimum as possible just so we are able to keep her hair from being greasy or looking too sleek and wet um, the entire time. So I use the product just to clear the part of the heart and then you guys will see me use it again on the heart itself however like that's mainly where i use it but the same product shine and jam is what i'm using and it's just to clean her parts up now this heart was so difficult to execute it just kept not looking right i just couldn't it took me some time to get it right and you guys know i take my time that's no secret here but when I finally got it right, I just kind of tucked it away because we're going to get to that last after I've done each braid. Now I'm just going to go from the center of the heart and kind of part down to the side of her head. If you guys seen the picture on the thumbnail or I'll probably drop the picture in on the side. Um, if you guys seen that picture, you know, it kind of part kind of comes from the side and then the braids go around it. So now I'm putting a little bit more jam just to like kind of get the hair to stay on that side. Because when dealing with this type of hair, it just kind of likes to fall together a lot. So you do need some type of separation to just like keep them apart. To be honest, I'm on vacation, so I do not have the tools I would normally have at home. So we just kind of have to grab what we can get and use what we have. So I don't have, you know, a bunch of clips and stuff to keep things separate. So, you know, just work with the environment you are given and execute as best as you can. So now I'm going to just brush the hair to the side and I'm going to braid around, but I'm always going to braid closest to the part of the heart. So you kind of want to bring every hair into that. As you go, you just kind of pull from the farthest end and I'm doing a little stitchy, but not too detailed on the stitch. I'm just kind of grabbing the hair up because I do kind of want it to look loose. I don't want it to look too formal you know a little bit just kind of loose and stuff like that so i'm just grabbing what i can from the side and just pulling it into the braid and i'm gonna braid it around the heart and as i'm going i'm gonna pull some of her natural baby hairs out um just so you know it could look a little wispy um and yeah, I'm just going to keep braiding around the heart, not too tight, not too loose, just, you know, just right. <laughs> And 
And when I'm doing kids' hair, like, you know, I always like to make sure they're okay because I know not a lot of kids uh, are comfortable with getting braids. And she sat really well for these braids. And, you know, she didn't really have too many issues. She held her head properly. You know, that's my thing. Like, when it comes to kids, I know you guys see me do my own kids all the time. However, like, I really dread doing kids' hair because, you know, they don't know how to hold their head properly. And it's always moving. And that could be a uh, frustrating for braiders or for stylists, period. Um, especially on our backs, trying to, like, work with them or trying to move where they move. But... She held her head pretty well and, you know, we got the style done. So once I am done with this style, I'm going to put a rubber band there and I'm going to pull down the other half and start braiding that half the same way. I'm going to pull from the furthest end into where the heart is and I'm just going to braid it like that. I'm going to leave a little bit of hair out just so I can curl it at the end. But yeah, this style was super easy. It didn't take long at all. And if you guys, you know, wanted to try a style like this, this is how it's done. Now, you don't have to use your nail to bring the hair in, but you guys know that's my technique and I'm used to it. So now I'm like... You know, sometimes I'll use my nail. Sometimes I'll use my pointer finger, just grab the hair and pull it inwards. Um, like I said, it doesn't have to be like pronounced stitches. I just kind of want it to have those lines and just look um, flowy. So I pull that little hair out just so she could have something in the front and I'm going to go ahead and curl that. And again, I'm just pulling from the furthest end into towards the part of the heart. And as I'm going, I'm pulling out strands that I feel like is natural to her hairline and her baby hairs. So when I reach to the back, that's when I'm going to um, put a rubber band on there. But then I'm going to bring all three things together. So the two braids and the heart together. So now I am using my jam. Like I said, we're working with the elements that we're giving. Typically, I'll probably try to use like some type of hairspray with her texture to get it down. But we don't have that. We have jam. So that's what we're using today to kind of sleek it down. And I'm just... Uh, the reason why we want to avoid using jam on her texture is because not unlike African-American hair, yes, it looks shiny when we're done. However, it's absorbed over time when it comes to her texture. Uh, it does not absorb over time. It just looks a little bit more greasy. So um, that's why I would avoid using the shine and jam fully throughout her entire head because it's not going to absorb. It's going to stay shiny and probably even get more shiny and greasy if you know you'll leave it on there so but for this she's probably only going to wear this style a few days um so it, it's not something that needs to you know last a long time but i went ahead i brushed it down i put a rubber band on it as you guys can see and then i flipped it through the middle and i put it in a ponytail so now i'm going to go ahead and curl it and then we'll be done. So I have a few videos coming up for you guys. I think I'm going to drop it every day this week of me doing the girl's hair. I only got to do four of their hair. Um, but there's so many more. And if I when I go back, I'm definitely getting everyone um, when we'll have more time to like, you know, do so. But so I'm dropping a video every day this week. So stay tuned for that. And let me let me know what you guys think of this style in the comments. It's super simple. If this is something you want to do for your daughter, you know, go ahead and, you know, let me know what you think. Drop a picture in the comments if you can to see how the style turned out on your daughter. And 
thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys this week back and to back to back so stay tuned i'm gonna be trying to drop a video around like 7 30 7 45 every evening this week